What's up guys, my name is Dan Danny or Daniel. I draw cards and turn them into 3D prints using Hue Forge, and I also do Hue Forge tutorials for all of you. Today we're gonna to talk about something that should have had its own video a very long time ago. We're gonna talk about the seashell test and how important that is to you as a new Hue Forge user. You mean like this? Some of you may know that TD is super important when you are starting to do your Hue Forges. The seashell test was made so that you could have a more accurate representation while you're making your Hue Forges of how your colors will blend. If you are new to Hue Forge and you've tried to make some Hue forges and the colors just came out way wrong, either the colors were way too saturated or they weren't saturated enough, usually that is because your TDs were incorrect. So today I'm going to show you exactly how you can measure your TDs using this free seashell test and I will show you why it's beneficial to know the TDs of all of your filaments. So without further ado, let's get into the video. This video is sponsored by Overture. When it comes to 3D printing, quality matters. That's why Overture is one of the most popular choices for 3D printing filament among creators. Engineered for consistency and precision, Overture Filament delivers flawless prints every time. Whether you're printing hue forges, functional prints, or detailed design, Overture's wide range of materials ensure smooth printing and reliable results. They offer everything from PLA to polycarbonate and everything in between. If you're in need of affordable filament for your next 3D printing project, go check out Overture using the link down below in the description. Before we get into the tutorial of how to use the seashell test and how to read it, we need to understand what transmission distance is. TD is a measurement of how many layers of filament you need to print before light stops passing through it. In simple terms, it's the opacity reading of your filaments. So let's say you have a filament that has a TD of 1. You will need to print 1 millimeter of filament before light stops passing through it. Alternatively, a 10 TD filament requires 10 millimeters of filament to be printed before light stops passing through it. This is how we tell Hueforge how opaque our filaments are, and it is the metric Hueforge uses to calculate the preview of what our print will look like. When explaining Hueforge to new users, I'll typically describe when you mix blue and red paint together, you get purple. So if you print a high TD red on top of a low TD blue, your print will look purple. This is where the term filament painting came from. We're blending filaments together to get creative results. Now that you know exactly what we're measuring, I can show you how you can measure TD at home without any extra tools or gadgets using the seashell test. This folder should look familiar to you. This is where you get your EXE for Hue Forge. Within it, you have tools. If you click on tools, this is where your seashell test will be. This has the Hue Forge project for it, and it also has a PDF explaining how to use it. So this is what the PDF for the seashell method looks like. It tells you exactly how the seashell test works. It tells you how to print it. It also tells you how to interpret it to make sure that you get the most accurate readings for your TD. So if we look here, we have different screenshots using different TDs of filaments. So right here we have a TD of one and you can see that there's no blending going on at all. It's just a flat white on top of a black base layer. All of these seashell tests are gonna be printed with two colors. You're gonna have your black color, that's your base layer, and then you're gonna have whatever color you're trying to measure up top. So you can see that as a TD of one, again, we have no blending here, but if we come down to like a TD of 10, you can see that we get all of the blending. And the only difference between that, the color is the same, they're both white. The only difference is the transparency of each of these filaments. So a 10 being very transparent and a one being basically opaque. Now, you might be asking yourself, why are there no decimals here? Maybe you've seen in the library where we have decimal points, you don't have to be that accurate when it comes to Hue Forge and your TDs because the difference between a TD of one and a TD of two is not that noticeable. Similarly, a TD of two to a TD of three is not that noticeable. So really getting it accurate to the decimal point is not super important for Hue Forge. It is nice whenever you want the most accurate results possible, but the only way to really get that is with a, a secondary device like the TD1 or the TD1S, depending on when you're watching this video. So with that in mind, don't try to get it down to the exact decimal point accuracy. It's okay if you'd interpret your seashell as a TD of two when it's really a TD of one. It really won't be that big of a difference. And you'll be able to compare your print to the seashell test within Hue Forge. I've already printed five of these seashells and I'm going to show you side by side the PDF with me in real life showing you what details to look for within these different seashells. And then I will show you how to bring those in to Hue Forge and what that looks like whenever we're trying to make sure that they are as accurate as possible. Anyways, let's get into it. So you can see here within the seashell, we have very little detail at all. We don't see any of that black layer coming through. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for how much of the black base filament is coming through the seashell. And you can see we have a little bit here as a one, these are the calibration marks is what we're calling them. Um, but other than that, we don't really have any detail. All you can see is the black from these calibration lines on the PDF and on the seashell. 
Um, so I will keep that in mind. I'm going to pop the numbers up on the screen so that you can keep track of what TDs we've we've recorded. And then within Hue Forge, I'll show you how to match that up and how to load these filaments. So this is a second seashell test that we're going to test out. This is Overture's PLA Pro Dark Blue. This is a very good color for a lot of your more icy themed Hue Forges. You can see here, this is more of a TD of two because we get a little bit more detail down low in this ring. We do get the calibration marks coming through just fine, but you can see within the PDF, the difference between TD of one and TD of two is that little line right here and this little line up here. You get a little bit more detail on the right hand side of the seashell and there are some new veins that start to appear. So we do start to see those new veins coming in. And that is why I would call this about a TD of two. The next color we're gonna talk about is PLA Pro Light Green from Overture. Very good color for a lot of different grassy scenes and others. And it gives you some really good blends. Here, because it's a lighter color, it's a lot easier to see than the blue was. You can see a lot more of that vein coming through. You can see we're starting to get more detail up here along the top i would call this the fourth vein and the fifth vein so you can see here in the pdf it says the bottom is starting to show more details but faintly here i would say that that's pretty accurate i would say that you're starting to see more detail in the bottom veins you can actually see some of the black coming through in the top veins as well for this one i would call this more of like a td of three potentially a td of four and also remember guys in the filament library you might see this pla pro and it might be listed as like we'll just say a six for example's sake if it's listed as that that doesn't mean that that color specifically is a td of six all filament is different it's not all the same and i explain a little bit more about that in this video that i'll link up top this talks more about the beginner friendly filaments that you'll need in your hue forge journey but just know that each spool of filament needs to be tested for its td even if it's from the same brand even if it's the same color even if it's the same kind of pla or pet g you need to test your tds because it can vary from batch to batch we've seen crazy variation of like four or five td from certain filament companies um, that's just the way that filament is made. It's not super accurate as far as how much pigment is getting into each batch. So for this specific seashell, you can start to really see the black coming through in the top veins. So we'll move on to the next color. So this is Overture's PLA Pro Orange. Most orange filaments are going to be mid to high TD unless it's like a matte orange. So this is no exception. You can really see the black starting to come through even in the taller veins a little bit, but mostly we can see them coming through here. And if we scroll down in the PDF, you can see that this looks closer to about a five or a six. Um, we're starting to see more significant details coming through from that black layer. I would call this about a TD of five. Our fifth and final color that I have for you is Overture's PLA Pro Highlight Yellow. This is a very high TD filament. If you look, we see almost all of the veins coming through on black. We can see almost all the shadows of the veins coming through. And if we scroll down within the PDF, we start to see that the more grayish look that we get, like here we have a more muddy yellow, that's what we're getting into the higher TDs. So for this one, I would say that this one lands at about a nine to a 10 TD, somewhere around there, just because we see all of the veins prominently on the left and right side, and we start to see some of the shadow details. I could say anywhere from an eight to a 10, would be good for this one. I would probably put this at a nine though. Okay, so now that we've measured all five colors, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them into Hue Forge and then we will use these colors on the seashell in Hue Forge to see if they match up. If the printed results matches up to Hue Forge's preview, then we know that we're good and we were pretty accurate in measuring our TDs. So now that we're back over in Hue Forge, I loaded in the seashell test and I added all of our filaments. Remember, I said that some of these colors were like a three to a four, a uh, five to a six. So I just went ahead and put 0.5 and then we can adjust accordingly if we need to but all you need to do is drag the color over here into slot 18. now i want you to hold up your seashell test and tell me if that seashell looks one-to-one -one like what you see here in the preview of hue forge if it does then you know that you're accurate and you have a really good td reading if it's not then we need to adjust it Again, TD, if it's a lower TD, it's more opaque. If it's a higher TD, it's more transparent. And so all you have to do is you can adjust the number until it looks more like what you actually printed. So if we drag in green, you can see that we start to get some more details than we did with blue and gray. We're gonna get even more with this orange. You can start to see the veins a little bit more clearly throughout. And this is what my print looks like. 
And then if we drag in yellow, you are going to see almost all of the detail going throughout the seashell. And with that, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. We have gone over how to use the seashell test, how to get the TDs of our filaments using the seashell test, and we have measured five different seashells, showing you exactly how easy this test is and how you can measure TD at home for free. Now, in the future, I will be doing a video on the TD-1 and the TD-1S. That is a more accurate device as far as TD is concerned and color is concerned. It does all of the heavy lifting for you, so you don't have to print out these seashell tests. But... In the meantime, this is a great way to test your filaments when you're first starting out. If you like this video or it helped you in any way, shape, or form, please like, share, and subscribe. I also have a YouTube membership set up and I have a Patreon set up so that if you join those, you get access to my community Discord where I can do one-on-one -on -one training or if you have further questions that you would like to ask or just want to support me, those options are available to you and I would really appreciate it. Anyways, I hope you learned something.